All right, hey, uh, oldies forever here. I've been I've been shooting for uh, past few days, and uh, I made a few videos, but I haven't put them up yet. Uh, I I decided I was gonna shoot from ten yards, and then that didn't seem like it was really all that challenging, so I went ahead and stepped back to uh, fifteen yards. And uh, I don't know if you can see, yeah, right there. There's a post in the ground. I just put an old quiver on it, uh, zip tied it to it. I don't really care if the quiver gets fucked up. It's just regular cloth by itself. Uh, I got it with an old junior set that I used to have with my recurve. But uh, I decided to step all the way back. Uh, you guys can't probably see it, but 42 yards back, there is some taller grass. I decided to shoot just in front of that, and uh, so I was shooting from uh, 41. And I'm just shooting another regular target that I got. And behind me, I got a Farrowin house that's wood. But I didn't know that the foundation was concrete, and uh, so I really didn't worry about it. But I shot this arrow here. It's a gold tip pro. It's uh, I was using regular field uh, field point, and this is what a regular field point looks like. It's got a nice tip on it. I shot this at 41 yards, and I went just below or just above the pallet. And got in through the straw and went all the way through and I hit the foundation of the Farron house. Or shed, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, what ended up happening was this. Now, that is pretty boogered up. Now here, let me show you a comparison of the two. I had to go and get a new field point inside. Look at that. That is crazy. This is what happens when you're stupid. Or when you try new things without thinking it through. Now, the furthest I'd shot back from was 17 yards. And I decided, hey, I want to shoot a far one. Well, I got a three-pin sight. I was like, well, let's just see what the, two, what the second pin will go to. I got the first one pretty honed in at about uh, 10, 15 yards. Also, basically 20. So, I mean, same thing. Didn't drop too much. A little windy, but it'll just move it left to right. That's not too bad. You just got to gauge that. But anyway, so I shot it. And I ended up hitting the concrete. So be aware of your surroundings when you're shooting. Don't let anything. I got cats running around here. I got to kick them out of the way every once in a while because I don't want them to get shot or anything. And uh, But definitely be aware of your surroundings. And if you got anything that you're shooting at, make sure that behind it you either got like some old wood or something so you don't damage your field points because I mean these suckers can run about a dollar a piece and you're not thinking a dollar is that much but when you're hitting let's just say you ruin one a day let's just say you shoot you shoot for a week that's seven that's seven dollars are you wanting to spend a dollar a day ruining a field point just because you're ignorant no so that's why I'm just gonna start creeping back from now on I mean it, it was stupid I am calling myself ignorant because I was ignorant of the foundation I don't know but um, that's why I, sw I just wanted to give you guys a little update and just tell you about that. And I'll be cranking out some more videos here before long. I'm sorry I've been I've been messing around. I I filmed a lot on the first day. I haven't filmed very much since. So uh, I'm thinking about probably doing a, a a competition between me and my brother-in-law. I might film that, have my sister film it or something. But uh, yeah, definitely be smart about where you're shooting, how you're shooting and everything uh so yeah old is forever be smart don't be stupid make sure you don't have anybody in harm's way all right see you guys